After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another I've been kicking the chip in the costumes, throw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just give me out. I'm a corrections officer uh, with Randall County for about a year and a half now. Absolutely love it. You know, the, the brotherhood that you have here is. That, that's what makes it uh, worth it more than anything else. Front jab! Back, back! Front jab! Front jab! Elbow strike! Front jab! Back, back! Front jab! Back, back! Elbow strike! Front jab! Back, back! Angle kick! Back! Engage! Back, back! Disengage! Back, back! Enter your stance! Where is it coming from, your threat? The front, right? All right, Oliver, I just got done speaking with Gordon. Uh, he, he's not going to cuff up, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and call the SRT team. Have them uh, meet in the SRT room. We're going to go ahead and suit up. All, right. All SRT team members, I need you to go ahead and suit up. Uh, we got this guy, Gordon, down here who's in an overflow GP lockdown cell, and I need to move him over to segregation. I tried to talk to him. He's refusing to uh, cuff up, so I'm going to have the team suit up, and we're going to go ahead and move him. I tried to give him numerous opportunities to comply, but he didn't want to comply. He said, these are my demands. He pulled out a piece of paper, started going with his demands, and said he pays taxes. Um, he, said, uh, he said he wants a pension. He said he wanted to use my phone. The initial plan is secure an arm, secure an arm, secure legs. But if they... If he, if he goes down and they can secure his legs, I'm going to pin him with the shield, and you guys grab his arms. Cool. So we'll just, you know what I mean? Go over. Situational awareness. Be aware of what's going on. Oh, yeah. Does that fit that head, bro? Are we ready? We're there. Let's go. Work with each other, not against each other, Dad. We'll go in. I'll try to get him to cuff up to the bean hole. If he refuses, we're going to go in. We're going to cuff him up and then transport him over to the seg. All right, I'm going to give you one more opportunity. Cuff up. If you don't cuff up, I'm sending a team in. You gonna you gonna cuff up? I would not get you. Okay. At this time, inmates refusing to cuff up. He's right here at the door. There's no weapons. The floor's dry. Um, no weapons. Floor's dry. No weapons. Cluster one, CS one forty eight, CS one forty eight. Go go go. Get him on the ground. Get him on the ground. Pull his feet. Pull his feet. Pull his feet. Somebody grab his feet. Right. You don't want me on the ground? Go to the ground. Go to the ground. Here's the taser if you need it. Get him down. There you go. Get that other leg. Spread them out, spread them out, spread them out. Spread them out. Hey, Littleford, Littleford, you're on top of them and you lay. Pull them back. Face down. Face down. I'm done, sir. Give me your arms behind your back. Put your other arm behind your back. Right arm coming back. Scuffs. You all right, Littleford? You all ready? You're good. Don't worry about it. Relax, big boy. I tried to avoid all this. We're not, sir. I tried to tell you. We're to not, sir. We're, 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 we'll give you an opportunity to walk like a man. Yeah, roll over on your side. One, two, three. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. All right, let him put his Crocs on. I'm going to pull my pants. I got a little one. 
So don't don't worry about what they got to say. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. Can you come down to CA side, come check out an inmate that we had to go in on? You clean up a cut on an elbow. My wrist is just coming off a of right in the head. How'd, of hell. how'd you hurt your wrist? I hit somebody. You hit somebody? Yeah. I broke it in the broke my hand in my wrist in the growth plate. You'll get to look at it here. I didn't know. Just I, mean, I didn't know. It was, I didn't know. It it's because it's because you you're all amped up right I'm now. Not amped up. Well, you were. We're not no more. We're good. Up. I just want a pencil, man. A pencil? You didn't say nothing, but you said give it. You said you weren't gonna. You started you giving me some. You asking demands. for a pencil. I remember you giving me some Open demands. Boss, and say I asked for a pencil before you ever called, sir. You remember that? Asking for demands. No, I remember you asking, saying that you want a pension. A pencil? No, not a pension. I have a pension. Oh, you said you wanted, I wanted a pencil. You said pension, and then no. you pay your taxes, and then you said yeah, you wanted said, to use my. What I said was. was I wanted a pencil to fill out the form uh -huh. to get a lawyer so I'll know if I need a lawyer. Because uh -huh. Texas laws are kind of screwy. So all, all of this is over a pencil? Yes, sir. Well, a towel. I didn't have a towel. I didn't get the soap that I paid for. Uh, I didn't get tea. All, all you had to do was respectfully ask for some towel and the soap. Uh, we would have checked it out. Can I talk? Sergeant Gibbons? Is that you jerking me around? You can talk. Why didn't you tell me all this? I tried to, sir. No, you didn't tell me nothing about a towel. You so. said. You said you wanted to use my cell phone. You had to use the phone, so you said, sure. I knew that was a lie. I never said you could use the phone. You asked to use my cell phone. Remember, I said I wasn't going to let you use it. You didn't know if I was getting bailed out or coming to SEG. I told you we weren't getting bailed out. I did. Whatever. Just get out of here. I don't need, we got, I don't need medical. We, we have to. It's regulation. No, you don't. I got medical in route right now. They're going to clean that up real quick, and we'll be out of your hair. Well, I don't want to. You, you, we gotta clean it so up. So, sir's gonna take me down? No. Oh man, for does that? I don't wanna let him. Uh, it's against my religion. To have him wipe you. To have any medical. All right, well, we'll let, we'll let him look at it. It's against my religion to be examined by medical professionals. Are you gonna break gonna, my religion? He's got a small cut on. You wanna go to heaven? Oh, and will. Now, if you go against my religion, I'm gonna get trouble. Right? You look at trouble. You agree? Yeah. Can I go track this back Come on. Just lay him down. Lay him down flat. Lay him, lay him flat on the bed. We're good or no? Are we good or no? Oh, I almost. Oh. Almost. Oh. All right. Gordon. Yes. We're going to back out. Okay. We're going to come to the big slot. You going to walk right yeah. now? Yeah. All right. I'm All right. Let's go. Best thing out of y'all walking in. We got it. All right. Let's go. Go ahead and drop it. Pop the beam off.
shut that door. All right, boy, keep the hand right there, bro. All right, pull your hands in the bean slot. We'll get your stuff for you. Uh, we'll get your stuff. Um, we'll, we'll grab his. Let's go ahead and get back on our uh, regular schedule. Uh, after we get done with our officer breaks, we'll pack this stuff and then bring it back home. Let him give him a chance to cool down. Cause I have a feeling right now, if we go, if we deal with him anymore, he's just gonna get amped. Yeah, he's just gonna keep getting amped. Our goal was to extract him and reach the camera in another cell, which uh, we were effectively able to do that. So overall, it was a successful uh, mission. Okay, good, Oliver. You got his stuff packed. Yes, sir. I knew when we decided to move him, he wasn't going to go willingly. Yeah, I, you know, it's always best in those type of situations to have the SRT team suited up uh, hey, for safety one reasons. One yeah. We just completed a successful cell extraction. No injuries. I was able to get the inmate moved over. Now I need to go to booking, deal with a combative inmate coming in through intake. Yeah. Police department's bringing in a combative. Is it this guy right here? Let's go see what we got going on. What do we got, guys? Drunk? What's his first name? Ronald. Ronald, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, buddy? What's wrong? Keep on teasing me. Think everything's a joke. You better keep his mouth shut. All right, hey, listen to me real quick. Yes, sir. How much have you had to drink today? Oh. A lot. A lot? What's a lot? Eight forties. Eight forties? Have you been doing any drugs or anything? I quit the drugs. All right. Without well, cop right don't, there. don't worry about him. All don't right. worry about him. Listen to me All real quick. Look. What's your name? Sergeant Gibbons. Don't worry about these guys that brought you in, okay? It's not about them no more. It's about us, all right? You cooperate with me, I'm gonna cooperate with you. We're gonna get done. I'm gonna feed you all kind of sandwiches. I'm gonna feed you sandwiches for days, huh? All right. All right? But you gotta cooperate with me, okay? Come on. I wish you'd take my cuffs off right now so nah, I Nah, you don't want to do all that. Beat the out of him. He's a good dude. Don't worry about he him. He ain't no good dude. He is. He he's thinks a... everything's a joke. All right, come on. He might all be right. just having a bad day. Oh, no. Hey. Here, let me pull your underwear up so you don't show all but the girls. But he thinks everything's a joke. All right, let's go. I'll tell you what. I'll be Come on, come on, come on, come on. What I say? I said don't listen to them, OK? Don't worry about this. I'm feeding you sandwiches. Cooperate with us. Did you get that bag of dope out of my pocket? You got dope in there? No, I don't. I thought you said you didn't do any drugs. You just said you did. I don't do drugs. All right, that's good. All right, come on, sit down and let's take your shoes off. Let's see, watch your hands. Oh. Watch your hands real quick. All right, lift your foot up here. Hey, would you wash your feet? Wash your feet? Nah. <laughs> Woo! They need some washing, though, boy. No, they? Right. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to go get you some sandwiches. We're going to go in. Here, right. let me take this off your head real quick. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, that's you look good. a lot. You look a lot better. All right, All right. let's roll. All right. I'm coming for you, buddy. Hey, come on, come on. Right. Don't worry about you. <laughs> you can't be messing with nobody. We can't give you no sandwich. I know what. They ain't got nothing better to do than they bust a trunk when they could be out there busting all these crackheads. Yeah. But look, it's not about you committing a crime, it's about keeping you safe. Can you stick your hands through the bean hole for me? Oh, don't. don't fall down. Come here. Turn around for me. Turn around. You can't, you can't eat sandwiches with your hands behind your back. <laughs> hey, we're going to have a medical ask you a couple questions. All right, listen All right. to what she's got to say for me. Can come down here so you can hear me? All right. Yes, huh? is available. Hold on. All right. Have you been in the hospital in the past 90 days? I can't remember. Can't remember, OK. Are you on any meds? Yes. What do you take? I take it all. But hey, get them okay. over you, you look good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, you got any brain injuries, Ronald? Oh, no. No? Do you hear voices? Yours. Just mine? OK. Do you... Am I going to get a good dinner still? Yeah. I've got yeah. some right here. We're going to get, get you some right here. Do you want to get dinner, though, tonight? Yeah. 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 
Do you I see? I didn't for dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, you did. I got you a sandwich right here. I'm gonna go get you some more, okay? Hey, am I gonna get a meal tonight, though? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it right hey, now. This is just what well, we got right do here. Do I get a regular meal tonight? I'm going to yeah. get it right now. This is no, just. No, but do I get a regular meal tonight? Yes. yes. I'm going to get it. Because right I know now. you guys feed a good trays here. We do feed oh, yeah, good trays. Do. Right. Here, you want your do sandwich? Do I get a regular tray tonight? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Here, eat your sandwich. All right. I'll be right back. But I get a tray tonight, right? I'm going to get it right now, buddy. All right. All right, so why are you guys so popular with Ronald? We got called to a laundromat on Amarillo Boulevard, and he was obviously drunk, and I guess he stole the trash can from the owner there. He was screaming and hollering at people in the middle of the street and trying to start an argument or a fight, mm -hmm. so we arrested him for public intox. And, so how'd and he end up in the helmet and the legs tied up? He there? told us as soon as he got in the car, he was going to start banging his head on the window. So we shut the door, he starts banging his head on the window. So we put over. the helmet on him, mm -hmm. and... Uh, he said he was going to kick the windows out, so we put the leg restraints on him. He was talking about how much he loved y'all, and y'all loved him, and y'all were going to yeah, feed him all this good food, and everybody knew him down here. And... As much as he drank those 840s, he probably needs some pretty good food to kind of sober up. He probably does. Yeah, yeah. He probably has the drunk munchies. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> I guarantee he does. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, take it easy. I got Ronald some food. Hopefully, it'll get him uh, sobered up, and we'll be able to get him through the booking process. Ronald, don't fall asleep on me. Got your sandwich, buddy. All right, uh, how long am I going to be before I get you didn't go back to back? Eat a sandwich, sober up a little bit. Just eat your food, sleep it off, and uh, we'll get to you as soon as possible, OK? Oh, hell yeah. I hooked it up, right? Yeah, you did. Look, I, I gave you grapes. Oh, hell yeah, you did good. All right, well, eat your sandwich. Yeah. Get sobered up. All right. Okay. All right. Ronald came in earlier. He's pretty upset, banging his head on the uh, cage in the car. Hopefully, he'll get some food in his stomach, get some sleep, and we'll get him through the booking process. All right, it's been a couple hours since Ronald came in. He sobered up pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get him out, get him booked, get him through the system. Ronald, you ready to come out and get booked in? Yeah. Hey, you got a hell of a hangover. I'm hungover. Yeah. I got a hangover from hell. Do you? Well, let's come right but down you know here. What? Man, APD, come on, man. What'd I'm they just, do? Man, I'm just sitting drinking in the alley. I'm not even bothering nobody. And, and I want to sit down and have a cold beer. <laughs> Can't and even, they interrupted you, huh? I can see if I was walking around and being stupid, but I can't drink a Beer? Come on, till I get a place to live? Sons of bitches. I gotta go to rehab. I told the judge you're wasting the time sending me to rehab. You're not gonna give up the drink? I've been to rehab 15 times. Just leave me alone, let me drink till I die. See, that's yeah, how I put it. But you can't drink in public either, so. It wasn't an alley, come on, man. It's almost time to eat, ain't it? Huh? What time we eat? Six? Five, about 5.30. Yeah, I wanna hurry up and get booked in because I need to take me a good hot shower. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind waiting, but nah, I need to go back to bed. I got a hangover. I wouldn't mind just staying in there tentatively in one of the crazy cells. No. Why not? Because we need those for real crazy people. Or can you go put me in Max? Yeah, you're in Max. The one where I got to stay in all day and they get my hour out, put me down until morning, at least, if they got an opening. Yeah, put me in there so I can go to sleep and I'm in my own little cage. OK, I can go for that then. Wait, wait, no, don't put me in there because they give a goddamn paper plates. Put me in a regular cell then, okay? Or a max cell, but a regular where I get okay, a. Okay, I need you to relax so I can get right. these prints done, okay? Where, where, where I get a tray at. Okay. Don't put me in the one where you get all the right. paper plate. No, yeah. I don't want that one. Put okay. me in. All right. All right, relax. All right, put me in another one. Way in the back room or something, okay? I'll behave myself. Put me way in the back room. But once you get on max, you stay on max, don't you? Pretty much. You can become a good boy and you still gotta stay on max, huh? Yeah. That ain't right, though. Why do we come to jail then? You know, if you can't ever upgrade. Oh. Go stand in front of that gray screen for me, OK? Right. You know what I mean? All right, look ahead at the camera. Parcheesy. <laughs> All right, stand still for me. If I don't All like right. the picture, can I take another one? Turn and look down the hallway. <laughs> hey, can you make me a couple prints to save my mother? <laughs> All right, Ronald. Need a signature right here, right there. All this paperwork to come to jail. One more. Hang on a second. You know, I ought to do something really stupid that really give them a reason to put me in jail. 
Come on. Man. All right, Ronald, have a seat, and I'll get everything ready for you, you okay? Stuff? Yep, that's your stuff. Andy, can I have my candy? No. You can have it when you get out. That gives you something to look it's forward to. It's got some pot in it. Give me the candy. <laughs> All right, Ronald, have a seat. I'll get you changed out here in a second, all right? Only in America. Ronald's got a good sense of humor, but he's going to have to take coming to jail seriously. He's going to have to find some way of getting over his drinking if he's going to stay out of jail for good. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been here at Parker County for a little over four months now. I've worked all over the jail. Down here in Booking is one of my favorite assignments to work. You see things no one else gets to see. You get to see a different side of other people. Leave each day hopefully knowing you made a difference in someone's life. What you got, man? Aggravated robbery and auto burglary. Do me a favor, go ahead and hop on out for him. Step in here. Go ahead, come in, take a left. All right, go ahead and face the wall. All right, man, you got anything on you that's going to poke or stick me or anything? If I did, I'd tell you. Sorry if I smell like fish. I worked Friday night. All right, man, I'm going to take the handcuffs off. When I do, I need you to place your hands on the wall until I say otherwise. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Now, you can turn around, go ahead and have a seat. I need you to take your shoes and socks off for me. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Have you been injured or hospitalized in the last 90 days? No. Do you have a history of drug or alcohol abuse? Yes. Specific drug? Heroin. Opiates, in general. Do you think you have withdrawals from drugs or alcohol while you've been in jail? I might. I mean, I'm on methadone, too, so I don't know if you guys get methadone doses here. I bet we're going to come in here. We're going to do a strip search on you, all right? Let's come in here. Walk in the blue line. With certain charges, we have certain protocols. So with his charges, he is going through a real quick strip search. He's from Colorado, real compliant, young kid. Bobby just made a mistake. Right here. Go ahead, come in, take a left, go all the way to the back. We got a release from our APD crime analysis department saying that they'd had an auto burglary okay. where a, a pistol was stolen. And then about an hour later, they had a robbery at a Teuton Totem just down the street. Our victim actually ended up putting a reward out on Facebook. And so we were on another call after we were looking for our suspect from the robbery. And somebody came up driving down the street saying, hey, your suspect from that robbery is right around the corner. So we took off and sure enough, this guy was sitting in the vehicle. And this was the reward post made there on Facebook. Here's showing the same guy from our, our media release. That was the same guy, same shirt. Just a matter of time at that point. We Mirandized him. He gave us all this information, told us that he had, uh, you know, he had burglarized mm -hmm. the vehicle and he had robbed a toot and told him for some money. Just kind of felt like he had to do it. You can't help but feel bad for the guy, but, you know. The law's the law. Yeah, and you can't rob toot and told him. So There's I always mean, better ways to step sure. up and do what needs to be done. What brings you to jail tonight? I broke into a car behind Lowe's and took, took a few things out of there. And then after that, went over to my friend's house for a bit. And then he had a, a BB gun. And so I was like, well. And then there was a gas station there too, so I went and ended up robbing the gas station with a BB gun. And so now I'm here. Got up today, was it something you were planning or were you just kind of walking by and realized? It's not like I intentionally wanted to do that. I don't know, it just, it just happened. It just happened. Don't know what went on. I don't do stuff like that, I don't know. Money's tight right now. I needed to pay my utilities. I was short on rent too, so I had to get it up or they were gonna turn it off. And I have a three-year-old and a three-month-old. We just don't have that much money coming in right now. No one ever said life is easy. Well, when you get backed up into a corner, when you're backed into a corner, there's only one direction to go. You just got to give it time, keep your head up. 
stay out of places like this. Everything's how you play it out. Hopefully this gives you a new perspective on things and can hopefully guide you to the right track yeah. and get you where you need to be for your kids, for you, for your fiance. Uh, based on your charges, you'll either see a judge or you'll go to arraignment tomorrow morning where they will set your bond. This is the first time I've ever, I've had a clean record, so this is the first time I ever do anything like Chances this. Chances are with it being a first time, then it's not gonna be a huge deal. But, I mean, it's not, it's not a light thing that you did. They could sentence you to county time or something like that based on the judge. All right. Yes, that's good. Okay. So it's the first time he's coming to jail, so hopefully he learns from it and is able to step up and do what he needs to do for his kids and his fiance. It's all up to him now. I've been an officer here at Potter County Detention Center for a little over a year now. Uh, also, I'm a firefighter for Potter County Fire and Rescue. Uh, I just like helping out the community, so doing both of them is an easy way to help them out. We were informed by supervisors that uh, we need to go do a couple shakedowns, which is just random searches of a cell to uh, look for anything such as contraband, weapons, drugs anything extra that they're not supposed to have, see what we can find. You have your oranges, grab oranges your towels. towels. Line up at the Let's door, go. gentlemen. Get down. Oranges and towels. Go get your towel. Line up by the door. Yep, you're good. Get your wristbands. Don't be talking. All right, Lewis, if you want to start over there, I'll start, start over here, here and work our way around. We'll get tipped off, or they'll let us know when something is going on in the cell that's not supposed to. Here you go, so, Adamson. Awesome. Yep. Shank. Whoop. Tattoo, Tattoo paraphernalia. So a bunch of different actually... colors and ink and designs and outlays. So, uh, the, somebody's given them brand new boxers and they've ripped them apart and they use these for patterns. They draw them out, they can wet it, which will stain it to the person's skin. So what'd you guys find? We found a staple. They might be using that part they to might shave. Could. Yeah, they could. But this is, is any box. Oh, yeah. where did you find that? Where? Let's put it right back where Go you found it. Go put it right yeah. back where you found it. Yeah. That's a game changer right there. That's Big time. Yeah. Good job, Sanchez. Y'all found it where? Can you rub your hand across. Oh, the there it is. The only issue is there's two people's bunks right here. We'll bring everybody back. We'll separate these two there and tell them, and look. You guys got somebody tell confess. us. Somebody better tell us whose it okay. is, or both of y'all will be charged for this because we found it here. We'll play them against each other. Let's do it. Listen up. When we get back, go to your bunk. Stand beside your bunk. Do not talk, do not touch anything, and do not move until further instructed. All right. You two gentlemen, come with me. Whose bunk is this? Yours? Go out. Tell this where you were at. Go out this way. Keep going. You were on the top bunk in that in that uh, cell, correct? Yes, sir. How long have you been on that top bunk? Since I got here. OK. So you're telling me that you know absolutely nothing about this? No, sir. OK. Do you have any idea where we may have found this? No, sir. I'm here for child support. So I'm just Is that, I got my release date. I'm just. I, I understand. I'm with you. All right, man. Just hold tight. Just hold tight. And we'll uh, be back. Okay. Right. He says it wasn't his. I tend to believe him. He's in here on a very minor charge. We're going to go in here and talk to him and see what he has to say about this. Yes, sir. <laughs> what do you think I found? I have no idea. Come on, man. Oh, always keep all kinds of contraband. Okay. okay. What do you think is going to be the biggest thing that we're really worried about right now that you think we could have found around your bunk? Maybe a razor. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this razor. Maybe. Okay. Where'd it come from? 
probably a razor that I shaved with. It's been in the dorm for since I've been in there. But I, I have traded it in and out. So you're telling me that you've been taking the razors apart, putting a different razor blade in there, and keeping a sharp one in there? Yeah. What is, for what? Cut string, to cut the handkerchiefs, to do my drawings, I love to draw. Okay. The handkerchiefs that you're tearing up the boxers for? I buy them. Well, they're not in there no more because that's contraband. You know that once you, once you alter them, right? Yes. Sir. All right. So, you know what's going to happen, correct? You're going to be rolled up and you're going to be put on lockdown. Probably quiet. It is quieter. All right, man. Hey, appreciate you manning up and owning up to it. All right, man. What are you taking care of? I ain't trying to do nobody with me. Oh, I got you. I got you. But All you right. understand that this is yeah, can't. Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, hold tight and we'll get you taken care of here in a few minutes. Every once in a while, you'll get an honest inmate. Hey, did he confess? He did. He did. He said it was his. He said he's been changing uh, old razors out for new ones. That, that razor was in there whenever he moved in there. He would take, get new razors, break them apart, change them out, and that's why he, nobody ever caught it. So it was a good job, good catch. Thank you. I guess we'll be writing him up for. Yep. Manufacturing a dangerous weapon, 30 days on lockdown. He'll go before a review board, and they'll finish it up in a day or two. Born and raised here in Fort Worth, Texas. It's great weather, great environment. Been with the Sheriff's Department about 13 years. Sometimes these people, this is their first time in jail. They're scared, they're nervous. Uh, as officers working down here, if we can get them what they need to get out of jail, I'd like to be able to help them out. Uh, so uh, we have a male inmate back there. Uh, he's transgendered and he is transitioning. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get him his paperwork and uh, go ahead and process him first. Okay. okay. All right. We'll house him with the male inmates unless he feels like he's in fear for his safety. Right. Then we'd single cell him. So we'll, we'll talk to him after we process him and see how he feels about that. We'll go from there. So, Michael, why are you here today? Um, for theft. What is it? Theft. Theft? Yeah. Unfortunately, I was in a Target and um, I forgot that I had a purse on me and it just totally slipped my mind. So they unfortunately brought me in here and I asked them, you know, I was like, I'm going to pay for it, but I guess in Dallas. So it's your Does it matter? Time. You've been in jail before for anything? I haven't. You haven't? This is the first time? It's my first time. We're going to go ahead and take your picture. Okay. We'll come check with you the rest of the process, and if you have any issues, we'll, we'll talk to you and let us know, OK? Well, everyone here has been so nice so far, so. Well, that's good. I'm thankful for that. I thought it was going to come into, like, a riot or something like that. So. No, no, that's not how we do things here. So yeah. that's definitely not, awesome. not how it's going to be. That's what we told you through the process. If you have any issues, just to let us know, though. Well, I appreciate you gentlemen for being very, I guess, hospitable. Right, very not a problem. So. Yeah, thank you. Remember, this is going to be your one-time booking photo. Make sure you get it right. Yeah. How do I look? Well, I think you're ready to take the picture now. So, Michael, how are you feeling so far being in jail for the first time? I'm feeling a little nervous, but I mean, everyone seems to be very nice. Michael, here's your ID card Let's put your picture on it. Oh, no. Am I allowed to redo it? No, that's the only one. You only had one chance. Oh, no. OK. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions. How many times have you been to jail as an adult? I don't know. No. This is your first right. time? Have you ever been part of a gang or affiliated with any gang members? No. Do you want to be a trustee while you're here? Do I need to make that decision now? You don't have to right now. You can put in a request later. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, now your safety here is our priority. I have my concerns just because of right. the trans my trans. Yeah. I mean, I started this process, you know, years ago, but this is my first year of really getting intense to it, where, you know, I'm getting boobs, I'm going through the whole transformation, everything like that. So I'm not worried, and I feel like I'm in good hands with you guys. I'm a big girl. I think I can handle myself. OK, good. OK. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Hey, wait, before you close that, you might want to go ask him if he's ever been in a jail in another county. I don't like being lied to. OK. So Mike. Yes. You been, uh, 100% truthful with us since you came in? About? About your history of being in jail anywhere else other than this jail, criminal history, any kind of those things? Okay, guys. I'm sorry I lied to you guys, and I'll tell you the truth. 
<laughs> in this job, I've never been in trouble, but I do have other charges in other cities, and that part of my life, I'm trying to turn around and not, I'm just trying to get that part of my life, but I am, I do have three more felonies from charges that I do regret so bad in my life, so, yes. Well, all, all those other charges or things you've done, I mean, it, it all follows you and, 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 and you know, and I thought it ties into it. After a certain amount of years as well, so. But honesty in this place is going to get you farther. Okay, I'm so sorry, you guys. Please right. forgive me. Thank you for checking. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, but uh, just kind of how comfortable he was, right. how he was going through the process so easy and right. it kind of smooth. You could tell he's been done this before. Hopefully, he hasn't lied to us about anything else. Talk to this lady in one, see what's going on with her. How uh, she's acting up. What's wrong with you? What's going on? Sit down for me. Sit. Just talk to me. Okay. What are you here for? Like, me and my sister got in a fight in, in April, and I spent um, two months in jail. Or you got in a fight, so they charged you with what? Assault on a family member and uh, interrupting an emergency call or 911 call, or whatever. Listen, yes. you get very agitated. I can see that. I'm Just like you are right now. I'm already in jail illegally. But while you're here, I need you to follow our rules. I need you to relax. I'm, I'm supposed to get home. I have to do. I need to shower. I need to eat. I'm starving. Oh. Like. Then, then in, there you go. There's your reason. I'm in Tarrant County there, Jail illegally. There is your reason to relax, so we can pull you out and get you out of here. So sit there for a few minutes. You stay calm for about 10 minutes. I'll get somebody to come get you. 10 minutes? Yes. You do that? That means no banging on the door? No banging on I the door. No jumping up and down. No, no sticking your middle fingers up. No it's saying so anything. Yeah, none, none of that. 10 minutes. Can you do that? Yes. All right. Deal. Thank you. 10 minutes. Can I look at the clock? No, stay in there. Audrey, have a seat. All right. Stay, stay, stay quiet. Yes, 10 minutes. Right. And then we'll come back and check on you and get you processed. Uh, Audrey seems to have some anger issues. Sounds like she gets mad at everybody. I think that's why she's in jail right now. She got mad at the officer at the back door also. So we'll let her relax a few minutes and then we'll get her processed. Audrey's uh, getting out now. She's gonna get processed. Audrey. Listen to what the officer tells you, answer her questions, and let's get you out through this. Walk slow, you walk fast. I have long legs. You'll take off on me. No sarcastic remarks. Otherwise, you'll end up back in one of those little rooms, and your time down there will be hard. So don't push the limits. There you go. That's the idea. We're going to go up to the stop sign, and you're going to talk to the medical personnel when they call you up. Just stand there on the wall. Oh, what the hell? You think you can do this? Yeah. Where'd they pick you up today? At my house. At your house? Yeah. Are you drinking? Did you take anything? No. Is this the normal this. Audrey? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. This is me whenever I don't have new points. No new points. Your, hey, that's going to get you back in that room. Sorry. Go ahead. I don't trust y'all needles, bro. I got Audrey. Didn't you tell me you would be calm and get through this process they and come play? Stick a needle in my skin. They don't want you to stick a needle. They're gonna do it. Every single person that walks in here does it. Can I ask you some medical questions? Sure. Everybody that comes in the jail, they get a TB skin test. Audrey is uh, trying on everybody's patience. Seems like she's been doing it since the beginning of the process. Seriously, the water here and the air here is disgusting. How, how, how am I supposed to put a needle in my skin? It's jail, bro. It's just, I'm in here illegally. You're just under your skin. It's not deep. Okay? Whatever. You'll be clear. Okay? I see your left You can look your way. Just look your way. What if you guys messed up my skin? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mess up your skin. It's protein. 
Okay. Thank you. Audrey, you got a long way to go on this process still. You know that, right? So hopefully you can calm down, chill out on that anxiety this way, number eight. Can I get some Xanax? No. I'm going to let you make a phone call. How do I know if the phone call is going to be free? Last time I used it, They're free there. phones. They're free. No? -uh. Yes. You're no. lying to me. I don't lie to you. I got no reason to lie to you. I don't know who you are. Then dap it up. I can't do that. But what I'm going to tell you is you need to relax. Stop asking all these questions to everybody. <laughs> I ask questions. I'm in prison. You're not in prison. Well, it's basically No, it's not prison. It's jail. Well, they put a needle on my skin. Good luck to you, Audrey. Are you Calm down. Back? No. Can we take a ride together in the No, Audrey. Good night. She may make it through this process today, but uh, wherever she gets housed, you know, we'll see how she gets along with other people. Don't know. Wish her luck. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my home.